the last time. We will be meeting regularly. Um, why? Because I personally think that whenever there is any legislation done in the university, it should start from the bottom. We are actually following exactly the same mechanism that the national parliament follows for legislation. There is a committee, this proposes a draft, then it's taken to the cabinet, and then it comes to the national assembly. So think of this gathering as a national assembly. Um, and we uh, discuss it in uh, a meeting with the HD, HDs and deans day before yesterday. And I think the meeting went on for a good five hours. And um, the rationale behind why we need to have um, teaching hours. Um, our essential job, <coughs> excuse me, our essential job is to teach. We are all teachers. Any other responsibility assigned to us, including me, does not change my substantive appointment. I am a teacher. I am for three years or X number of years, if I become an HLD or a dean or a vice chancellor, that does not change my essential identity, which is that of a teacher. Um, I will be teaching a course in the Department of English from the coming semester, um, and I'll do it every semester. And I've requested Dr. Philip, he's here, and Sonia, Madam Sonia, um, to, you know, somehow um, adjust me in the timetable if they're okay with it. Um, and I will be teaching the first class, which means if it's at 8 o'clock, I will be in the class at 8 o'clock. If the class starts at 8.30, I will be in the class at 8.30. I will be marking the attendance, I will be marking the papers, I will be marking the assignments, I will be preparing the results, and I will work under the chair of the Department of English as a teacher. Why I'm doing that is because we need to understand how perhaps, no matter what responsibility we have, we are essentially teachers. And so if there is any instruction that the HUD Department of English gives to other teachers, those instructions will apply to me too. So if she says I should submit the result within one week, I will be submitting it within one week. Um, of course, there is you know, a certain time frame that is given to all teachers. And if there is a tendency to be submitted to the department office, I'll be doing that too. Now, why am I doing that? Why I'm doing that is because my perception is that in most universities, um, there is this you know, sensitivity about how so-and-so is a plana Khan or so-and-so is a plana Khan ya Khan. Um, and, and I personally don't agree with that. Um, if, if I'm a VC, I am a VC. If I'm a Dean, I am a Dean. If I'm an actually, I am an actually. I don't have to rub it up people's noses. Um, these, these titles are used for facilitating first students and then faculty. Um, in the first conversation that I have perhaps in this room with, or in this hall, with some of my colleagues was that we need to understand the essential paradigm of universities. Universities are open for students and to be able to teach those students there is a need to hire teachers. To be able to facilitate teachers and students there is a need to have non-teaching people in the university. So for us we need to keep this in mind the most important are students, then the teachers, then somewhere in the distance, we non-teaching colleagues of yours come. But this what you say, ye hamne ulat kar liya hai. Ke management jo hai, wo jaise 
वायसराय की तरफ ही हेट करते हैं आई डोंट मैं मैं तो कम से कम उस पर आप कायम हो इसी वजह से ये पहली रिजिस्ट्रेशन है जो हम करने जा रहे हैं और हम आपके पास आए हैं आम भी जैसे और यूनिवर्सिटीज में कुछ यूनिवर्सिटीज में तकरीबन सब में इस तरह होता है कि यू नो बाकी चीजें को पता भी नहीं होता है और एक कानून बनता जा रहा है बनता जा रहा है और फिर वन गुड डे देयर इज अ नोटिफिकेशन इशू कि जी ये कानून बन गया आई पर्सनली डोंट अग्री विद दैट क्यों इसलिए कि इफ द टीचर्स और द नॉन टीचिंग कॉलेज्स दैट वी हैव इन एट द यूनिवर्सिटी आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द पॉलिसी मेकिंग प्रोसेस they they feel disempowered they feel disenfranchised and they don't feel motivated to implement those rules regulations statutes whatever they are so that is my main idea behind coming to you and you know um i thank nasim sir for sure to hazard and us um for and the rest of the members of the committee for taking this responsibility um because my hunch is that most universities have started moving in that direction where there is some sort of a minimum teaching uh, there are mini- minimum teaching hours for all teachers um in some universities where governments asked them to have it then they went to a level where it becomes physically very difficult for teachers to to do the teaching and then correct the papers and prepare the result within the time that we have for marking papers for preparing results like between two semesters we have two weeks for midterm we have one week to prepare the result do we do it do we not do it i hope we do it if we do not do it i think we should start thinking about that because before the students register for the next semester they should know the result of their previous semester that is one reason another reason is um when i um joined and i became your colleague uh on the 15th of october the process for um hiring um teachers on you know on what 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 we in universities so we call fixed pay mechanism of fixed pay basis of fixed basis the process was already completed um except for a couple of signatures that had to be put to those papers and then the semester was about to start and so i had to go ahead with that believing and the staff who actually takes care of the paperwork saying and writing that the process has been followed so i said okay um the office order that was issued to each one of you do we have um colleagues who are on fixed pay mechanism okay um the officer who that were issued i think clearly said that they should they will be teaching x number of hours in last the of short to issue and then uh, we requested the departments to send us the teaching workload or teaching load or teaching hours of all teachers in those departments and uh, it's really a, very interesting to see that perhaps um more than 90% or 95% of teachers whom we fo- whom we hire on fixed pay basis they are not teaching more than two courses or three courses um i'm saying 90 to 95% so there is somebody who is not teaching more maybe you are one of those 5% people or 10% people because the data that we received signed by all the respected attorneys that lies in my office on the desk and I was looking at it um which then creates this anomaly of how the university says somebody whom the university hires to teach 12 hours is actually teaching 6 hours or is teaching 9 hours so should we you know what what should we do should we think of it as some sort of a disobedience of course now uh should we think of it as you know uh, as an opportunity to deduct some salary from from those who are on fixed pay basis no not at all because the idea is not to you know pinch you economically 
The idea is to make sure that we make maximum use of the human resource available on which the university spends, let me tell you, 8.7 or 8.8 .8 million rupees per month on the uh, lecturers whom we hire on a fixed basis. So that is um, the second reason, it's like, can we reduce this amount? Or how do we reduce it? Do we fire people? No. Um, what do we do? We're going to start regularizing, or we're going to start the process of regularizing teachers. And the focus will be on those departments where there's not a single regular teacher. Um, why? Because if there are students and the department is accepting its full capacity students, and we don't have a single permanent teacher or regular teacher in that department, that's an anomaly. So, to cut the long story short, why we proposed, why the committee proposed, um, and to tell you the truth, it seems I've skipped part of the, you know, conversation that took place with the entities and the deans. Um, I was going for less numbers, you know, less about that. So it should be, you know, it was less than I'm not intending to sum it up. You know, so but it was slightly different than what the committee originally proposed. Um, and uh, why, after you guys have made a decision, perhaps I maybe to push out the principle. So um, why we are doing it is because um, we need to have some sort of a um, standard mechanism that all of us follow in every department. Um, one thing that I'm, I'm going to propose to the bodies that will be looking at it, that we should not, um, you know, uh, call call a course, um, you know, like for example, professor teaches one course, so we shouldn't say it will be a three period hour course, because pharmacy department has an annual system and I think my understanding is that every class, if I teach in the pharmacy department, every class is at 50 minutes. Is it, is it like that? Yes. One, hour. One, hour. One hour. And I teach it five days a week, right? So, five hours a week, five hours a week, four hours a week. Keep that up. The three hours a week, we choose to make it easy for me. Or we make it easy for me. Or we make it easy for me. Or we make it easy for me. Teaching hours, the mechanism, um, the start of the so, But if you look at it this way, then we expect our professors to teach one course a semester. We expect our associate professors to teach two courses a semester. We expect our assistant professors to teach three courses a semester. And we expect our lecturers to teach four courses a semester. Okay, just a little bit of a personal example. I should not be doing it. Before I came here, I was uh, the dean of a faculty in the University of Peshawar, and I was teaching four courses every semester. It's documented. Those of you who do not believe it, you can ask the department or you can ask the university. They can give you the names of the courses that I was teaching. And in fact, before I came here to take over, um, we had the MPhil program going on, and our HOD saw back in this city, he was really very worried, chose the center of dance with us, that's Martin. Look, if I committed to teach a course in the MPhil, I will teach it. Now home, you can verify. How will you do it? I said, I'll teach on Saturday. So I have committed to three courses to teach. Um, the fourth one was to be decided later. This was before I came here. I didn't even know that this would happen, that I would come here. So there were two courses that I was going to teach to MPhil, um, to two different semesters, two different classes. Um, two different <coughs> classes actually. And there was one BS course that I was going to teach. I always you know, thought of BS course. And the fourth one was going to be decided after we knew about one of our colleagues in terms of whether he, she will be with us or will not. Um, so I, you know, it, it's done in writing, so it's like, I was going to teach two classes on Saturday and one class on Friday. And the Friday class was supposed to be from 3 to 6. And I would tell them, it's like, okay, I'll try to come from Swabi on Friday, you know, whatever. And all this is done 
in consultation with students. Why I'm saying this to you is because um, sometimes we think that teaching four hour, four courses per semester is a lot. Um, yeah, a lot is a very relative word. If I have never taught, even teaching one course is a lot. If I have taught one, teaching two is a lot. If I have taught three, teaching four is a lot. But if I have taught four, and I did, four is not a lot. So, before the committee started making its recommendations, um, I think I had two uh, consultative meetings with uh, Nassim Khurisha. Whatever I said, now you're curious what I'm saying. He'll tell you, I'll tell you too some other time, hours of the time. So, um, those of you who perhaps think that for lectures, four is a lot, uh, maybe there are some who think like that. Um, if I say I don't agree with it, it's not because I don't agree with it because I happen to be your colleague and who is a professor. No, it's not because of that. I have a totally different, um, you know, um, logical reason. I, I think it's a logical reason. Well, you can call it illogical too, which is fine. It's a free country. Um, lecturers are young. They have more energy. One, most of the times, most lecturers are single, which is wonderful. You know, yes. Okay. That well, those of you who are one the Kuri, you know I don't have to comment on it. And those of you who are not, wait. <laughs> you will find out, you know. So, um, if you look at lectures, most of them are single. Um, maybe they're not, I'm just assuming. Um, which means, um, in addition to having more energy, they have lesser social responsibilities. Um, not all of them, most of them. And so they have more time, and think of it this way. I'm not trying to convince you, though I'm trying to persuade you, um, that preparing four courses, or preparing yourself for four courses, can hopefully also give you an opportunity to prepare for seeking some sort of academic fellowship um, outside Pakistan for a PhD. Um, I have been a Fulbrighter, <coughs> I have been part of their board. Um, the first letter that I wrote for one of my colleagues in the University of Saudi was for Dr. Mukhtar Shasab. He applied for the postdoc. Those of you who believe they should apply for Fulbright pre-doctoral or postdoctoral, we will talk and I will write, I might write a letter of reference for you. So think of it that way. And I'm going to put an end to this, you know, uh, conversation here, and then we're going to open it for discussion. Feel free, whatever you say, um, at least I'll be smiling to you. And, um, and even if, I, I'm sure you will say it in the most polite possible way, but if you scream at us, at me, I should say, us, if you scream at me, I still have hope that I'll be able to muster a smile and I was like, okay. Um, but if you're in the business of teaching, I think we need to understand that it's not just a job that I'm doing for the salary that I get every <coughs> day, but that I'm in the business of changing lives, building people's careers. And those who are in the business of changing lives and building people's careers, they ought to have a very, 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 very big heart. And which is why I, I, I say that I would smile to you. So, 
if you are okay with all this, you can you know say that I'm going to go down and you know if if you have questions, if you have suggestions, if you think it's less, that's nice. You can say no, four is less. Let's teach five. You know, trust me. I said that contested. I said that that خبر واره. نه یو بوده ما. اگری بود بیمار ما کسی چند دشیه یا نه. اب کوششی که وقتی دکا یو نور آپاسی نه چهار دشیه را حلوا و تو مرکی به دنده خبره تو وقت شد. نه که چه کی انتظار کورس زیاد بود ما کرد تا خبره تو وقت شد. So if you think it's a lot, um, think about it. Um, and let's discuss it and then you know we will take it to the academic council and we will inform the academic council with the pride and the conviction to the academic council will be okay with it too especially after we tell them that we discussed it with everybody on this uh, day thank you very much and god bless you bye bye